All right, everyone. Uh, for this video, I just wanted to quickly go over and talk about SGP's re-IPO. This is actually my second video on the topic. I deleted my first video because some of my viewers pointed out na meron akong konting pagkakamali sa pagcalculate ng market cap. So rather than risk misinforming all of you, I decided to redo the video and fix some of the data para po mas tama ang mabibigay ko sa inyo na information. Okay? Uh, bago po tayo magsimula, I just wanted to share a quote with you. Individuals who cannot master their emotions are ill-suited to profit from the investment process. Uh, galing po to kay Benjamin Graham, no? And I just want you guys to keep this in mind as we go through the topics that we're going to discuss for today. Mga key details po for the re-IPO. So the re-IPO will primarily be for SGP to raise its public ownership level up to the minimum threshold requirement of 20%. The proceeds from the re-IPO will be used to buy shares of NGCP within 12 months of the re-IPO. Uh, as far as I can tell, wala pong exact details kung paano po yung bilihan, pwedeng equal number of shares over 12 months, pwedeng isang bulk na purchase after the 12 months, uh, wala pong naka-indicate. Uh, if I'm wrong, please feel free to leave uh, yung information in the comment section below para uh, ma-enlighten din yung iba nating mga viewers. No? And then SGP will purchase only non-voting shares or preferred shares of NGCP. So what this entails is, uh, anything na balak gawin ng NGCP, anything na pinaplano or gustong gawin ng NGCP, ay walang say ang SGP. Dahil nga non-voting or preferred shares lang ang balak nilang bilhin. Alright? Uh, next, yung current price ng SGP bago po tayo nag-suspend noong May 30 is 395.80. The shares that they're planning to sell in the upcoming re-IPO is roughly around 1 billion shares, no? And then the final price date will be announced on October 22, 2021. For now, the current price range is 12 pesos to 17 pesos per share. Now, this was a uh, drastic reduction no from the initial na announcement yung initial na announcement mas malaki na nga yung value mas malaki pa yung range so yung una it was from 15 pesos to 25 pesos per share ngayon binaba nila to 12 to 17 pesos per share so no una medyo malaki yung band it was around 10 pesos ngayon bumaba naging 5 pesos na lang tapos bumaba din yung value now, how you look at this depends on if you're a half glass full or half glass empty type of person. Pwede mong sabihin na, oh, I'm getting better value, better bang for my buck, mabibili ko siya ng mas mababa than what I anticipated paying for it initially. However, if you're a half glass, a glass half empty type of person, pwede nyo sabihin na, baka hindi sila confident na kaya nilang ibenta at the price that they desired, kaya nila binaba. After all, kung kaya mong ibenta isang kilo ng tilapia for 200 pesos, bakit mo siya ibebenta for 150? Diba? Kung kaya mong benta ng isang kilo ng sile ng 50 pesos, bakit mo siya ibebenta ng 10 pesos? Now, the offer period for this re-IPO or FOO will be from October 26 to November 2, 2021. And then the listing date for the sold shares will be on November 10, 2021. The sale is expected to increase SGP's public float to 22.12%. Okay, so a little bit higher than yung minimum threshold requirement. That said, meron tayong kailangan i-consider na konting regulatory risk in the sense na when considering the firm's valuation, the possibility exists that NGCP's tariff could be slashed substantially. 
Okay? Also, on October 11, it was mutually agreed that JP Morgan will withdraw as one of the joint global coordinators and book runners of the re-IPO. So again, how you view this, whether it's good news or bad news, depends on if you're a glass half full or a glass half empty type of person. Okay? Now, why the huge discrepancy in price? Bakit dati uh, 395.8 tapos ngayon binaba nila to 12 to 17 pesos? Well, it's because of the number of shares they, tend to in they intend to inject into the market. Medyo marami-rami. Yung 1 point something billion shares. Kaya ganon yung pricing na nangyari. As compared na dati 395.8 ngayon 12 to 17 pesos na lang. That plus they want to make it attractive to uh, new investors na mag-subscribe sa FOO or re-IPO nila. Diba? Alright. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. No? Again, I apologize if yung unang video na na-release natin ay merong konting maling information. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, wala akong excuse. Talagang nagkamali lang ako. No? I will strive to do better moving forward. So, sana pagtuunan nyo ako ng konting pasensya. I am new to yung mga ganito. Yung pagre-report ng quote-unquote news or pagre-report ng mga disclosures. I'm still trying to find my footing sa ganitong klaseng mga videos. Uh, sanay ako na mostly technical analysis and I do that mostly on the fly. So, sa mga ganito, pagpasensya nyo na ako, give me some time to acclimate and to make sure na laging tama yung mga facts, yung mga numbers, yung mga figures, mga disclosures na report ko. And I'm sorry kung meron na kong uh, na-misinform sa inyo. And with that said guys, as always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!